All right, so I've gone ahead and uh, charged the battery. It's uh, holding at 8.1 volts right now. I'd imagine that's probably going to go down about 8 or so. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, I went and charged these two and like something over here because they were under 8 volts. So I'm trying to keep them all above 8 volts somehow, or like you know close to each other when I when I measured them all. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, and I started cleaning these uh, battery bars. Um, like I said, I don't think it really will make big difference, but you know, you don't want any kind of corrosion on your terminals to begin with. Um, so I've gone ahead and wire brushed all of them with this. I wish I had a, um, I wish I had a grinder with a, a wire brush. I used to have one, but I have to use a drill now. But I used to drill to take off the green stuff. I, I'm not really sure what it's. It's some kind of a. I know I took chemistry in high school, but uh, you know, copper does when copper starts to uh, corrode or um, it comes into contact with oxygen or water, um, something happens to it. Um, I forgot. <laughs> I'm not a chemist. I should know though. I took high school chemistry. I took uh, college chemistry too. Crap. Anyway, um, so here's what it looked like before. There was one of them that was really, really, really bad. Come on, focus. Not gonna focus. Well, anyway, you get the picture. It's green and yucky looking. Uh, right around the areas where all the the terminal, the nut, and the the terminal touch are, are clean, though. So uh, that's that's good. So I mean, it's not it's not the end of the world. But these ones I haven't even touched yet. So that's what they all look like. Take a look at them real quick. Some of them worse than others. Um, looks like these are okay. The little uh, voltage checker dealies, the all the terminals still look good. So now I'll probably get a wire brush and very carefully wire them. Hopefully no well, I guess if you go positive and negative it's okay. It's not gonna it's not gonna short it out. Um, just make sure nothing's connected on the other end. And I'm gonna do the same for this side and then uh, I'm gonna check the voltages again, see if I could keep them over eight. And then um, oh Okay, yeah, so after I wire brush them, um, I, I get some sandpaper and I sand it a bit, and that's how, they, how you get this nice um, shiny copper color. So these, I think these four I had sanded already, and these ones I just used the wire brush to take the big stuff off so it doesn't like wear the, the sandpaper out too fast. So yep, it's just that, and then I uh, put the case back on and uh, put it back in the car. I'm probably going to check the voltage a couple more times, but uh, I'm not going to like discharge or charge it. I think it should be fine. Um, these ones at the end have a little more voltage than the others, just a little, barely, like a tenth of a volt. But um, maybe I'll discharge it a little, because my little charger here has a discharge function. It's pretty cool. So yeah, this is what I'm using, like I said before, a Sky RC I a IMAX B6 AC. It's a, it's a peak charger. Um, you can't put any fancy settings in it. It just kind of, you just turn it on and then it, it's, it detects when the highest uh, voltage is, or um, yeah, how, how much the highest voltage and current is, and then it just shuts off automatically. But I, I, I've been monitoring it myself, so, so yeah. That's what I'm using, and unfortunately these aren't long enough, like I said. But, um, but I've already gone ahead and charged those low cells, and uh, I'm ready to almost put it back in the car after I clean all this stuff up. So, all right, here's a make out. Also, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, if you're doing anything like this, or uh, or working with um, acid or anything near the battery, because it's because there's acid all over this stuff, you should uh. You should wear uh, safety glasses or glasses, you know, something to protect your eyeballs. Because the last thing you want is like uh, some some kind of acid dust or chunks flying to your eyeball, and then uh, you got acid in your eyes, and acid reacts with H2O, which is inside your eyeballs, and that would not be a pleasant experience. You'd have to like wash your eyes out with water and all that. So uh, yeah, so I highly suggest you wear uh, some kind of safety glasses when working with uh, cleaning the battery terminals and stuff. You know, it's basic automotive technician
you know, knowledge. Like those of you that work on cars should should know that you should wear safety glasses whenever you work on the car. But I only work on it, you know, when I think I need them, especially when you're underneath the car because stuff can fall in your eyes. Uh, yep. So that is that. That's my uh, public service announcement. <laughs> it is a mega out.